World Cup has just announced as many weird rules for the world of football lovers lately. FIFA rejected Denmark's request to be allowed to wear shirts bearing the message Human Rights for All. A DBU spokesman told AFP, the DBU considers it a political warning from FIFA but will comply to avoid penalties. Qatar has faced criticism for its human rights record over the treatment of foreign workers in major infrastructure projects for the World Cup and for the rights of women, LGBT. At the previous World Cup, it was normal for fans to indulge in alcohol to celebrate their home team's victory. But in Qatar, things are not so simple. At this year's World Cup, which took place from 20 November to 18 December in Qatar, also the first time a Muslim-majority country hosted the tournament, alcoholic beverages were banned for residents and on street, according to DW. Also, there is a weird request for anyone who wants to enjoy World Cup at Qatar for free. These spectators are fully covered with the task of reporting critical and demeaning comments to the host country to the authorities. If fans do not comply during the chief, the agreement may be cancelled. Despite the strict regulations, hundreds of football fans have signed up for the program since September.